Okay, so hello and welcome again to another vlog. In today's episode, we are gonna discuss more about um, yung tips kung paano ka magigain ng knowledge and practice in terms of using your Canva. So, a lot of you were like asking questions kung paano ko nga ba na-develop yung pagiging confident ko in terms of like making Instagram posts or like Facebook posts for clients. Um, like what I've said in the past videos, never talaga akong, hindi talaga akong like graphic artist. I just know how to use Adobe Photoshop and then eventually Illustrator and InDesign, but I'm not like a graphic artist to begin with. Marunong lang ako dati mag-change ng font, mag-move ng whatever ganyan. Mag-resize ng items, para kung kailangan ng tarp, tapos nagpapadali, hindi na ako babalik yung graphic artist, nasa ka na yung file, ready na to send. So it really started that way, and I feel like last night kasi I was talking to a friend, and parang hindi niya rin alam saan siya magsustart in terms of like freelancing and social media management. And it would be perfect because I also had this one student with me na ganun ko siya tinuruan and eventually parang doon ko lang na-realize na oh nga no, ganun ko siya naturuan. So, yon Three steps lang to. First step is to, if you have a Canva account, use and play with the templates that Canva has. Um, Canva already has like a lot of templates. So, if you are on trial, go for it na 14 days. Practice ka lang. Use templates na merong available. I think some of the templates kasi are available on pro lang. But once that you are like more comfortable in using templates, did you know that like in other countries, may, may mga nagbibenta ng templates. This, you just have to move it around, change font, change color. And then, yun. Doon ka muna mag-start. Use templates. Eventually, while using your templates, palitan mo yung item, palitan mo yung pangalan ng store, palitan mo yung photo, and then during that um, process, try to move it around. Okay, so this is actually an example of a template that you can try to... Yan. Let's wait for it to load. That you can try to do. So, pwede mong gawin is that choose your template that you're gonna use on the left panel dyan sa templates na area. So, hanap ka lang ng gusto mong pag-practice na template. And Okay, once that you got that template already, rename your yan, rename lang natin to. Play with templates. <laughs> and, oh yan, ito yung basis natin. So, pwede mo na galawin or i-move around ito. So, like for this one, pinalitan lang natin yung text niya muna. And then, we will try to move around the element. So, una kong ginawa is tinanggal ko yung parang background or manove ko to downside. Then, I made the Polaroids and rearranged them. Um, I copied one para lang balance to make it three. Tapos nung na-copy ko na siya, hanap lang ako ng photo for the third Polaroid na bagay dun sa theme. And there, there it goes. Rearrange mo lang and make sure na pantay. Palitan mo yung other text um, below. So put whatever text that you want. Change it there. And change your header or move it to center depending on what you want. Pwede mo rin palitan yung font. They have this as a template. <laughs> Change your font, para lang matry mo yung iba. You can use either a serif, or a sans serif font, or any playful font na bagay dun sa theme mo. Make sure na syempre bagay siya. Okay, so there, this is a template. This is a sample, and then duplicate natin siya. Gawa pa ng isa pang design. And tingnan din natin yung base template para nakita natin ko ano original. Wait, put that in there. Okay, there you go. That's the original one, and there you have it. That's a second type of template that we created. 
pwede ka pang gumawa pa ng isa pang version. See how it makes a difference whenever you like try to play around with a template that Canva has already. So of course, pwede mong galawin, gawin mong medyo pa landscape yung approach or pa portrait like this one, medyo pa portrait so pa baba yung concept. Um, you can ungroup the elements that are already grouped para lang mapalitan yung itsura niya. So like this one, you plus change lang the text version 2 and move around the text, resize whatever that you need. Make sure lang you follow the grid lines in your center. I have another video for this, but this is for like practice purposes. Yun. Move around ko lang yung element na meron. Na green loop niya originally. And then binaba ko lang yung text para mag fall in dun siya sa walang nakalagay. So, ito na. Three versions na siya. Pag mas naging comfortable ka in like moving it around for the templates, that's when you do step two. Step two naman is. You go ahead and like look for a peg. It's either on Pinterest or Instagram itself. Look for something that pwede mong gayahin. Literally, like pwede mong gayahin talaga. Pero hindi mo ipo post. Gayahin mo lang for practice purposes. Bakit ko siya ginagawa? Kasi pag marunong ka ng mag, mag copy ng isang bagay, ibig sabihin, in your mind, na po process mo din kung paano ginawa ng artist na yun, yung mismong exact thing. Pag nalaman mo kung logically how the process works, hindi ako nagsasabi gayahin mo yung mismong design. Pero pag medyo na-realize mo na na, ah, okay, kaya pala ganito yung itsura ng box na yun kasi ganito yung ginawa niya. Or possibly, kahit hindi yun yung exact same process na ginawa niya, at least you get through the process of thinking how that artist works. So, like what I've said, gagayahin mo lang to for practice purposes but I don't intend to like make it a habit for you na talagang gumaya sa works ng iba this is just a practice process so that you would be able to know kung paano rin ginagawa ng ibang artist yun and once na nasanay ka na makagawa ka ng sarili mong process on how to do it but basically in this video you will see yan, hanap tayo ng peg and then when you got it open again your canva get a blank canvas um, just upload the peg that you have so that you would know ano yung gusto mong mangyari. So, check on the elements that you have for that design and look for it and try to do it on your own. So, in this video, titingnan mo yung elements, gumamit pa siya ng photo frame, katulad yan, yung sa center, um, gumamit pa siya ng shape, ano yung shape na yun, saan siya nakalagay, may lines ba? So put it there and then change the colors based on what you want. Adjust the sizing, yung mga spacing. And change the text as needed for practice. But basically this work parang helps you develop your own process as well. It's just that you have a peg to compare it to. Para makita mo na, ah, okay, this looks good. And I can try to recreate that somehow next time. And there. So while we're trying to change the bylines and other copy of the text, rearranging it, copying it, and trying to copy the elements that the original design has. Toggle in yung sizing, yung letter ng yung space letters in between, letter spacing, and line spacing as well. And adjust natin, adjust natin yung font size. And there you have it. Okay, pantayin lang natin. Once that's done, try to check lang if it's similar to what you've seen earlier. So, tingnan natin. So, kung kunwari na dun ka na sa part na, oh, okay, medyo close enough naman na, like, kaya ko na. Dun ka na pumunta sa step number three. That's when you try out using a blank canvas. At least in the ko from Canva before. Canva kasi is technically like a Photoshop din naman. It's just that may mga templates din sa available na pwede mong gamitin. Pero if you wanna like really learn more and really hone your skills, um, Canva has it. 
kasi pwede kang gumawa from scratch, as in from zero. Walang text, walang kahit ano, walang color. All you have to do is like, just how you do it in Photoshop. You think about the concept. Yung iba sometimes din drawing ko pa. And then I use I use it there, and then lagay mo na yung items. Ganun ko rin siya ginagawa sa Photoshop. Pero, like now, working with a team, with clients na nagmamadali sometimes, um, we usually use Canva for the sake of having access in terms of downloading your stuff in higher res. So yun, um, pag mga mad madalian, kina Canva namin. If you are looking into like honing your skills and trying to create more content for social media, this would be best for you. Um, use the 14-day trial muna and then eventually if you are more confident, mag-subscribe ka na din for Canva Pro. Maraming stock photos din available. So it makes your technically your work easier. Plus, kasi yung kung ano naman yung nasa stock photos ng Canva, nasa stock din siya ng like yung mga binabayaran mo, diba? So it's almost the same. It's just that yun lang dun ka subscribe So yeah, so step one is to like create muna from Canva templates. Pero dun ka parang isipin mo, paano, na rin, paano niya ginawa yun? Ano yung elements na ginamit niya, etc. Second is to try to parang get pegs na. Medyo mag-try ka na gumawa na on your own. Pero may pegs ka pa. So may basis ka pa kung ano yung design mo. Step three, that's when you get out of that cloud and try to be creative on your own. Doon ka na practice na, ah, okay, ito yung uso ngayon. Let me try this out. Ito yung shapes na uso ngayon. Ito yung fonts na uso ngayon. And always research pa din. Kasi the trend in terms of like, um, social media posts that evolves also. So, mas maganda na updated ka sa trendy look ng social media. And you follow that one. So, those are the three steps on how you can develop um, your skills as a social media graphics manager or social media manager with graphics skills. Para at least, whenever you apply, meron ka ng roster na pwede mo masabi na kaya mo talaga gawin. So that's it for today and let me know if you enjoyed this one. Um, I'll like share more tips about this kung paano ko siya ginagawa before and I hope it also helps you. And if it does, let me know in the comment section down below. And then I hope you all also can consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel to learn more about digital marketing for your dancing family and lifestyle. Again, my name is Fania Pantoko. You can email me at hello at zstudiosph.com if you need help for your digital marketing needs. And then, there is a website, so that's Z Digital Studios. You can also check out items there. There are free stuff there. So, you can also buy it. And yeah, that's it. If you have questions, you can message me on Instagram. That's Vanya Tandoko. And I try to reply to whoever messages me as much as I can. And that's it. Thank you for watching and stay safe. Bye!